Because I don't know, you know, maybe do two faces and then just yeah, throw up some gang signs or something. I'm two faced. Yeah. Do we do left and right? You can if two you'd faces, like to. Yes. Ready? We knew what you're trying to do. So failing miserably. I don't even remember what movies are we doing. Oh Jesus! But we're doing we're doing faces. Twilight Zone and Shining. Oh oh, so okay, I've got a face for that. Okay, ready? <laughs> Go. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Shining between the yeah, wall. Yeah, do that sure. again. Do it again. Okay. I, I want to react to that. Oh okay. Go on. But then you can't see me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 do it again, <laughs> do it again. No, no, do, 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 do it again, because then I can actually look up. Ready? I, I can look over you. Do it again, yeah. ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. Ah. Too much fudge? All right. Fudge, fun. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, and we're same. still recording, right? Yeah, we are okay. recording. Well, we you know what, I, don't, I start this one with a clap, but I don't start the movie one with a clap. I don't know what that means. It doesn't it's matter. Just something one of it doesn't things. really do anything. No. Come, yeah, but it's a gimmick. Less clap is better. <laughs> Found that out the hard Less way. Less of the clap. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the awesome, the 100 subscribers. Wow, no TV shit. Distillery. I'm one of your hosts. Almost. Oh, I just smacked the mic. I shouldn't have done that. Smack the mic. <clears throat> I'm Sorry. I'm your host, Logan Lynch. I I'm another one of your hosts, the more professional one, Warwick Price. <laughs> and I'm Lon the Drunk on the End. Lon Black. Uh, we're doing brackets. We're, we're getting close. This is the last of the round one yes. matchups. Yes. What do we got? So for movies. Um, That's a drama. Okay. Uh, for movies, we are matching uh, Twilight Zone. The movie um, <laughs> versus The Shining. What about? I'm gonna start drinking while you're talking. No, no, <laughs> no. All right, okay. All right, the bourbons. We also do bourbons. And the bourbons, which we will be breaking these up into bourbon episode and movie episode. Yes. Oh, yeah, we should. Because it worked so successfully in the last round. Yes. And but we're gonna then give you one that's bourbon movie. And a little extra. So if you want to listen to everything all together, well, the podcast, you, you will be listening to everything together. Yeah. But on the YouTube, you can also, there will be an episode that's everything the together. YouTube yeah, because the finishing the bottle is what kind we're like really kind of titling it. The finishing the bottle is pretty popular, so people yeah, like yeah, theirs just rant. All right. Uh, the, however, the bourbons. Mm -hmm. However, the bourbons. However, because it's, mm, it is actually Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. wah, 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 wah. <laughs> And Buffalo Trace. So, so here's the thing: is the Jack Daniels thing, and the reason he made that noise is <laughs> after we've been going through bourbons and bourbons and bourbons, Jack Daniels has become lower and lower on the list. Yet, Mr. Price, what is the most popular bourbon in England? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Because apparently, English people have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. But. <laughs> <laughs> is there importing? I mean, is there, is there a reason? It's a gimmick. As I have explained as the before, the, 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 the problem is that it's because it's, it's what most English people think. Is all, ad names? No. no. <laughs> what, most people, what most people think Don't do ad all names. Americans drink based on movies mm -hmm. is Jack Daniels. Okay. Same reason why everyone oh, thinks, thinks that um, Budweiser is the beer that everyone um, should be drinking. So again, you, oh. go, you go to the hip... Um, clubs and everyone's drinking Budweiser and drinking Jack, Jack Daniels. They're drinking like Michelob lights nowadays. But in America, the number one bourbon is not Jack Daniels. It is not. It is a wheated bourbon. As we found out last episode and the previous episodes. Uh, that these two don't even like. I don't, we don't like it as much as other things. <laughs> it's Maker's Mark. <laughs> Maker's Mark. Wonder. Um, okay, well, it and, mark, that's for sure. and just to, so we already covered the movie too. So the movies, the bourbons, we're going to do the bourbons now. I've already started. Oh, okay, You're way ahead of us. so I'm just going to go by color and, and I'm going to make an assumption that Jack Daniels is going to be the darker color. Okay, why is that? You know what happens when you assume that? Because why would Jack Daniels be the darker one? Daniels is darker because it has a black label. Oh, I believe that could be racist. I'm no. not sure. It does have a black label. I'm not sure. 
but it does have a black label. He is okay. Right. Okay. It does have a black label. Let me. Let me. Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna do the sniff test. So based on your sniff and your first. Yeah. Uh, so sips. so here's the thing: is we've been fooled many oh, times before. Yeah. This blind taste yeah, test has really brought to light a lot of the bullshit that we've spewed, as well as some of our truths. Yes. Is it In other words. Though? I no, mean, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, test is to be blind. agree, but that's the problem is that's we said, said, I can't, I'm going to, I know I'm going to pick this one and I end up picking that normally. one. Oh, did she? What's that? Helen now? Keller could talk normally. Helen oh, Keller? She's deaf. She's Most blind, deaf and dumb. That's the whole point is the dumb does means she you can't talk. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that she's dumb? Well, that's what it's called. Isn't that what you know what Helen Keller would do if she was falling out of a plane? She'd do the Helen Keller. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, we can't air this. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Any publicity. For the podcast, people <sighs> who are listening to this only, I just... <laughs> I just, <laughs> just incriminating yourself at this point. Holy Christ. I would love to hear you explain yeah. what you, you explain just what did. You did. I did sign language. <laughs> <laughs> to, to simulate like falling, convulsion, falling out of a plane. It was not accurate sign language. Would you say it was more like a spoof well, sign language? It wasn't American sign language. Oh, so there you go. Yeah, it had a British <laughs> accent. I, 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 I'm, I'm not properly schooled on ASA. ASA. Oh, God. Well, oh, good put it on thing. your schedule. Schedule. Anyway, so, mm. so that line. Okay, you, are you, how many sips are in, are you? Uh, this is my second. Okay, second sips. Um, have you had any sips? I have not. I've been so, yakking too much. Well, but, but here's the problem. Is what I was trying to get at was, I'm afraid that one of us is going to pick Jack Daniels. I know, so am I. Because. <laughs> because we picked Jim Beam. Right, because we, you guys have picked Jim Beam before. And I've picked some ones that I never would have thought I'd ever pick. So, you know what? This, this is part of what I love about the blind taste test and also what I fear of the blind taste mm -hmm. test. Okay, so, so let's talk about Buffalo Trace. Let's talk. What else does Buffalo Trace make? The Everything. Well, and that's my oh point. Oh, my God. So are they, wait, wait. Are they bottlers? No, no. Only? They're distillers. They're distillers. Okay. So, so then they've got multiple areas that are distilling different bourbons is what I'm... It's how I understand that. Correct. So, and the most famous of those, I can but, tell you right now, is one of my favorites, which is Blanton's. Buffalo right. Trace makes Blanton's. But now, is that a completely separate thing from, say, Buffalo Trace, what we're drinking? Like, that's a... Yes. Are they separate distilleries? No. It's the same distillery. It's just, and the same mash bill... Not the mash bill. The same pot stills, the same machines... But they put Are one these like mash. Original machines? Is that why it's because? What do you mean original well, machines? Well, just meaning, like, meaning like each one is made in the same pot stills, right? If it's the, uh, I'm just wondering what makes because Buffalo Trace has so many. So, variations that are well I, so, known. Right? So, so, so where I 100 percent agree with where you're going, where I think you're going with this is why I said what I said. It's like to me, the very name Buffalo Trace mashed up against Jack Daniels. In my head, Buffalo Trace is the higher quality sure. um, bourbon. Just based on their other stuff. Right. right. Like and also, you know, it's like, I, th I think the Buffalo, away, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Buffalo Trace was $28 and the Jack Daniels sure. was, was $22. Yep. Um, right. But so, I, I, I'm, I think where he's going is, I don't know that... It, what is it about? It? Spit it out, man. Right, but in other words, it's, it's, it's hard like... It's to put it in British <laughs> A British sign go, language. Go, yeah. go blimey, mate. <laughs> Knock it on the head. Uh, <laughs> that was a terrible that British Australian. accent. That's what I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm so... Not even, this is my first sip on the second. Right, so, is it, an, is it a fair assumption to say that the, the process that goes into making this Buffalo Trace mm -hmm. is basically the same process that process. Goes, goes into... Process? Process. Pro process. Yeah, process. You work on your English. That, that goes into <laughs> the other bourbons. The, the, the other bourbons. I, I get what you're saying. So I can tell you that it's probably like slightly vari variations on the mash bill. Sure. But I would assume it's the same equipment. Now, I don't know. I've never been to the distillery. If somebody out there has been to the Buffalo Trace us. distillery, yeah. invite us. tell us what it's about. Or point us in the direction of a YouTube video. Whatever. Right, right. What, you said we got to do research for these videos? I don't know. But the point is, 
I would assume it's the same equipment or similar equipment. It's more about the mash bill and the aging and the bot barrels they use and the finish and all that other stuff. But, there's but, so many but variations. That main, so that is part of it, but there's something about that beginning process that to me it makes me think that Buffalo Trace is doing something up to a certain point and then it splits off and then you've got clearly you know, you've got Blanton's you've got you Cor know, correct Pappy Van Winkle's right there Pappy Van Winkle's correct so you've got all of this stuff but Pappy Pappy in general that's more of a they bought Pappy's right like, uh, like, it, it, but it, it doesn't matter but uh, you're saying because it's a different distillery then right so that's possible so that's I, I don't know enough about it so i guess then my question is is it like this for at least the people that me that don't understand this shit is this kind of like the soup nazi episode of seinfeld interesting he's got i see a where specific you go way he makes this soup and if you knew that recipe you've got gold right? so i i the 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 oh, wait, problem wait, the soup guy i gotta do the politically correct term <laughs> Nazis are still okay to hate, right? Yeah, I think yeah, so. They, still okay they to make... like mad. Originally, it was soup Nazi for like five years, and then all of a sudden it was like, eh, that's not right. I don't know. Are there Nazis coming out of the world it's, saying, it's, hey, but we're But does he still offended? have the, the New York um, shop? Like, he? Like, he has a, a, he has a soup Nazi store. He was in movies, store. I don't know that much, but he probably, yeah. Anyway. So back to bourbon. <laughs> um, so the thing is, even though one distillery has several different brands, that doesn't, they're not all the same mash bill, they're not all the same process, they're not all the same aging, they're not all the same barrels, they're not, there's so many variants mm. in making whiskey that one distillery can play off several different brands because but of all those variations. Directions. They're following The directions, directions they made. But so That's what I'm saying though, like, so if I'm doing a Blanton's, it's... It's a you, recipe. Let's you, call yeah, it a recipe. Yeah, no, we, let's put they weren't given directions. They were making it up, and then that became from, a recipe. From, from so, on so, high. so they're saying, oh. hey, Blanton's recipe, do this. It's, yep. in, the, it's in the Correct. The pot well, they got to get consistency, so minutes. yeah. Yeah, right? Like, so if it's 76 minutes, does that then turn into Buffalo Trace? No. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? I like, see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But no, I think there's different mash bills for those. Okay. So there's different percentages of grains... <laughs> I'm I'm picturing like the master taster, yeah. like um, you fucking let mm. it go for too oh. long. I think Pappy's. This this is heading yeah. Pappy's way. Oh, this is Blanton's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Buffalo Trace. <laughs> <laughs> this could just be Buffalo Trace. <laughs> They'll still like it, but I so yeah. let me say, in the distillation process, there is a little bit of that going on. So I've been Spittle. to distilleries before where it's being processed, it's being distilled, and they walk by, and they do a little two-finger, and they taste, and they're like, nope, it's not ready yet. Dude, and then a couple hours later, not ready yet. And then all of a sudden, whoa, it's ready. Is trace then their lowest end? Uh, you In know what? Sense? Yes. It has to be, right? $28? It is, it is, because that's like, it's the Buffalo Trace Distillery. That's their original, uh, original, I don't know original, but that is their lower end bourbon. At the same time, they've got a lot of other bourbons that were, used to be lower end, that now are higher end. They do stag bourbon. Mm -hmm. Stag bourbon is considered lower end, but now... It's like totally sought after. It's sought after. And same thing, Eagle, they do uh, Eagle, Eagle Rare. Rare. Eagle's Rare. Yep. Eagle's Rare used to be one of those bourbons that was like, yeah, this is pretty good. And now you can't find it anywhere, so now people go crazy over it. It's a good bourbon. But it ain't all that. But don't you think, like, the, I know we've had the... Uh, in, it's a in, really good bourbon. In previous episodes, we've had discussions on marketing. But like, don't you think marketing-wise, isn't it a mistake when the name of your distillery mm -hmm. is, is... The name of your bourbon? Right. No, no, not so much about But the name of your lowest-end bourbon. But you don't look at it that way, lowest-end bourbon. So they look at it as, yeah. we put out the best bourbon we can, and that's our base bourbon. Yeah. They're looking at it from, and then we the do a variation line. here, hey, and a variation this here. This is where we start. Imagine where everything's gonna, normal. everything's up from because yeah. no, no bourbon, no distillery goes out and goes, well, let's make a cheap one, and then let's make a really oh. high end one. So then, ha, 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 we have had Kirkland's. Well, uh, okay. Never so there's, <laughs> so there's something called, <laughs> there's something called quality control, which is the distillery master's job. Is to make sure that it all tastes consistently or, or close or to as consistently they call it as possible. Or in in Kirkland's case, 
the guy, medium distiller. Right. Oh yeah, I stuck this finger in my ass. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, two, 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 two fingers. Two, right. So two. it tastes meatier. Um, oh, God. So. <laughs> Where did that go? So the point is. Up as his far ass, as, <laughs> as far as I understand it, I think it's not necessarily they put out Buffalo Trace and say, well, this is our cheap shit. This is low end stuff. They put it out saying, this is what we want to represent our bourbon. And then let's do a spin off recipe and let's do a totally new recipe for this one. And they have other brands. Now, but that's the thing, though, is some of those they acquired. So to correct, them, correct. it was more like, here's how we do things. And then those guys, did those guys come to them and say, we love what, the, what you're doing? Now take our recipe. No, thing, or no, Or did they no, say, no, no. you know what, we've no. just got too much demand. We need you to take. Because I, I did hear recently that there may be more pappies on the way because of the fact that they opened another distillery and things like that. But now... Yeah. You've got to wait a minimum of... So, but, but, but we've talked about that in the past, that Pappies did go through a process where they started producing more, um, more barrels and, and, and Pappies became cheaper. And then at some point they said, we don't want to be, uh, have a, che you know, a cheaper bottle. Got a 30 year here's, sitting in their fucking house right now. Here's my thoughts on the whole Pappy Van Winkle stuff. <clears throat> I've had Pappy Van Winkle. I've had the 10 year. I've had the... Rub it in. Well, I've had the... Because there's several different kinds. There's, there's Rip Van Winkle, which is the 10-year. Then there's the Pappy Van Winkle. That's older. How long did Rip Van Winkle actually sleep? 100 years. 100 years. Okay. But it's not a 100-year-old bourbon. Say, the point is, Smoothish. I've had it, and it's delicious, but it is not worth a, anything over $100 or $300 or $1,000. Or well, well, the point is, the MSRP of $150. So my... Okay, so this, I would probably buy it for that, but the whole point is the markups are aftermarket. Mm -hmm. they don't Buffalo Trace doesn't get that money. Sure. It's all about you, keeping the lore. But wouldn't you want, I would, want, I would rather say I'm producing 75, 100,000 barrels, uh, not barrels, but a thousand bottles. Well, a thousand barrels would be more than a thousand bottles. Well, but a thousand bottles <laughs> at one hundred and fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and everybody's buying it. Versus, yep. well, I'm going to put five hundred out there and fuck everybody else. So, like, or like you said, is it because of the lore? It is. The, it is totally Maybe about the lore. Maybe something we bring on at the. I honestly bottle, think. We got, we got yeah. Two all right. All right. All right. We're already it's, seventeen it's a, minutes longer. in. Let's. I dig it. We dig but it. that is something we should talk yeah, about in the finish in the bottle. We'll bring that back. All right. So let's do it. So. Uh, what, they, they what, do. What, are the, what are the years? What are the uh, age? Let's look at the age. Holding back the years. Uh, simply red. Yeah, yeah. Keep, um, keep talking uh, notes. Uh, what, what was his name? Um, um, Hutnell. I don't know the singer's name. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> it, it's it's two hundred forty nine years. I, I put in wow. really. I put in Buffalo Trace Age, so they took the distillery. Oh, wow. the distillery's so been around two hundred forty nine years. Two hundred forty nine years is a long time to be around, right? And through prohibition. Right, right. <coughs> so now, here's actually something I just 68. thought of. Eight. If you think about it, prohibition could that? How long did prohibition last? Do we know? Um, a few years, right? Like five years, maybe. I don't know. Been something that added to like, hey, these guys have this shit. They gotta leave it in the barrels, and then all of a sudden they found out, holy Christ, like that just made this. Or did they kind of take something like that? Thirteen so, years. Thirteen years. So nineteen twenty to nineteen thirty three. So a lot of these whiskeys that are pretty good and smooth are what twelve years. So so is that intentional, or is that just like something we stumble upon, or is that something they knew? I, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know that entire process so something tells me that that in reality there was probably very few um long aged bourbons during pro prohibition because they didn't need to sure because it's like they were still charging top dollar for like you know a six month the one year um aged who, bourbon who thought about saying i'm going to keep this one barrel off you know what i mean but, like somebody but, had but, to think but, of that or was that an accidental thing? no no i'm i'm sure that probably does did happen but but again it's like you know again during prohibition there was they were moving distilleries like all the time because they you know they found out that the um elliot ness 
um, was was coming after them, and you know, remembering Robert Stack too. Uh, yeah. Us, uh, <laughs> yes. Or, or Kevin. Or Kevin Costner. Okay. Um, but so, like, you know, it's the Chicago way. Um, but so, like, it, it's uh, you know, whenever they would find a, a still, the, the, they would destroy everything. It, 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 it's not they looked at it and go, well, no one's drinking that that barrel. We're just going to leave it alone. Mm. It's that they destroyed everything, and so I don't think there was really, you know, a lot of aging going on I because I think Lon would know the most about this he was alive during that time frame right that is true <laughs> wow <laughs> friends just to let you know I was in my 20s around that time <laughs> so that not quite as you thought you know but uh, <laughs> so just to let you know the Buffalo Trace versus Jack Daniels Jack Daniels is an average of four years any guess on the Buffalo Trace? Uh, six to eight. Are I'm, you reading my fucking screen? Don't no. read my fucking screen, I, Warwick. I, I, oh, trust me, with these readers, I can't read oh, okay. that right now. Readers. Uh, Buffalo Trace is six to eight. You heard it here oh. first, not from him. Uh, it, but yeah, it, was six six to, it was six to eight. Um, God, I'm so fucking... Now, for the mash bill, okay. uh, I will say that I'm a little surprised at some of the mash bills. So Jack Daniel's mash bill... Is eighty percent corn, mm. twelve barley. What? And what, a mere what, what why, why do you think that that's so unusual? I'm go on because a that's high corn. Well, I'm gonna go on Most bourbons don't is, just do that much corn. Just because it costs shit. No, no, no. Because it's a corn flavor. It's too much corn flavor. They got to balance it out. They got to add profile to it. So, so I'm gonna go out on a limb. Then that this would one? be no, no, not an arm. The reason why it's, it's Jack a, Daniels it's a limb. would be more on the sweeter side. I, I was going to say the same thing. Okay. Bam. See, are we, am I learning? Is that, is that what that means? <laughs> so, they use 12% barley, which is where you get more sweetness. Sure. But that's pretty but low. But the corn, though, doesn't the corn, and doesn't corn make it sweet? Uh, absolutely. Hence, absolutely. Sweet corn? Absolutely. Barley is a different kind of corn. <laughs> it's so, literally in the name. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Lon. It's Mr. Scientist. <sighs> Fuck both y'all. Okay. <laughs> Buffalo Trace... You're going to love this. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Buffalo Trace does not disclose their mash bill. Whoa. See? Snooty. Yeah. Uh, not just snooty, but what the fuck? So then they, okay, here's a question. So then they have no bottle and bonds, I'm assuming. Because don't they have to disclose that? That's a very good question. Wow, you actually seem look so knowledgeable. Like look at the big about. brain on Logan. Uh yeah, I would assume they would have to, but maybe not to the public. Maybe they well, just have to disclose it to the And the, also, the to government. be honest, only to, only to the barrels that are set up for, the, for the bottle and bond. bond. Yeah. Correct. But, they, they, but if they do that, that's somehow going to probably leak to somebody. You know how even, not airtight. So even, that there, oh, even that there's so many variances to making a, a good whiskey other than the mash bill. And when they give percentages of the mash bill, a lot of that, that's artisan made. When they dump it in, they might be dumping 71%, 69%. Sure. You know, it's, I mean, so when giving out your mash bill, but, I don't think but, is that big of a giving away of your secrets. But, but in, that, in that sense, though, I mean, with technology and everything nowadays, can't you recreate that? I would imagine. 71% all the time. I would imagine. I, I would assume that, I mean. I would imagine shit, it's digitally dumped nowadays. in or something. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah. I hope not. I kind of hope how, they do. How would, you, how would you do that? I'm just saying, like, the case in point, they would take what's being done from the distiller's standpoint and just be able to say, okay, what efficiencies can we put in there? Hey, we find that <sighs> over this. Oh, here he goes. He's, he's, he's I'm, Googling I, it. I, I'm going to co-pilot. But, but it's interesting because I want to I wanna know if, like, this is something that, because think about the the market for uh beers right mm -hmm. now you've got all these home breweries and all these things and sure people making their own stuff and you know things blowing up um you don't have the only budweiser's and the miller Lights. clearly that the craft movement has been epic uh, could that be something that could start with the bourbon is this another question for the FTP? yes and no <laughs> but there's a difference so you're allowed to make five gallons of beer in your home without being legally taxed or scrutinized or licensed or you know inspectors coming in and shit like sure. that i think it's much less than that for whiskey but and i could be wrong i don't know the number somewhere, right? like, 
No, listen, I've made my own whiskey. I've, you've had some of my stuff. So I've made my own. Salty. I wonder why. Le- oh, my God. <laughs> well, you, you, you came first. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. Was the chicken <laughs> or the egg? This is not a show for kids. Um, we know that. So AI came up with 75% corn maize, 15% rye, and 10% barley malt. Corn maize? Corn maize and maize are the same thing, so... It says corn maize. This is a fucking computer telling me this. Okay. <laughs> well, then they must be right. Exactly. I must be wrong. It's not corn. It's corn maize. Anyway. Okay. All right, so... So, let's okay. pick some. Well, let's let's start with work, I think, on this mm-hmm. one. Let's, mm-hmm. let's go with your own. What, what, what would your choice be on this? Yeah. Between the two? You work. Yes. Between the two. <laughs> of course, of course, between the you know, two. Between all six we're gonna, of ours. We're going to bring out ten more. We gave you sips of yeah, each one. Jackass. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, so I am really afraid here to the point that you were saying. I, I'm the same. See, I'm the is, same. I, like I, 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 I'm, I'm, I know. I am not h- tasting a huge difference between and the two. Okay, and you're, the and you're afraid of picking Jack Daniels, aren't you? I am. And so, so in which case then, I'm going to go based on the color for no other reason than I think... Just the, the color? The Jack... Dude, base, give me a so, taste note. Something. Okay, so this is, this is wrong. We're, like, we're not trying like, to not like pick a, Jack Daniels. A, a, any, any Bourbon followers that follow us because they think that we have some modicum of... of of knowledge is uh, are most gonna, of our people think we're full of uh, shit. I'm well, gonna totally put them in this situation. Yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it. So I'm going color based on the fact that Yo, go when, you, when, you you want, Jack, when you have a Jack Daniel glaze <laughs> on your steak, once you go black, you never go back. It's generally, <laughs> it's generally a really black label. Dark. I just want to play by black label. label. Oh, what the fuck? Just pick um, the fucking yeah, bourbon. I think it's. I, I prefer this one. Okay, and, and what, that is and that is yellow. They're all, all amber. A. He picks A. A. Okay. And what do you think it is? Uh, I think it's um, a Buffalo Trace. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm going to have you go next. Um, I should, honestly, I should know the difference between these two. And, and I should add to, to mine. I, 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 don't, I, I, I sadly understand. don't hate either of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think they're both very palatable, um, and, and I probably would drink either of them. But compared to, compared to last episode, though, you feel it's cl- uh, just as no, close. no, no, no. I, I think last episode the um, watch. <laughs> um, the uh, what was the the seventeen ninety two? Yep. Seventeen ninety two. If I had that against these two, I think I would pick the seventeen ninety two. Sure. That was definitely smoother. Yeah. Um, this one, they're definitely a little rougher. Yep. Um, but I'm picking this one. I'm picking A because I think of the two. This is probably the smoother of the two. Did you do you agree though? Both smell similar. Uh, yeah. Okay. Totally. But but I did a, a, about the last two as well, the the old Forester and and um, seventeen ninety two. Okay. Mr. Lynch. Next? No, I went first last time, okay, so, so you went last. You're putting me on the spot here, so yeah. I should honestly know the difference between them. Why two. is that? Why do you say that? Because I drank Jack and Coke for. But no, you but, but, blend but, it with Coke. But Coke is going to add so much that, sweetness to it. Correct. That's what I mean. And so, but you would think I would be able to still disa- uh, dis- discern, not disable, discern between the two of them and say, okay, yeah, that's the- got to be Jack. That's got to be. Um, this is my last second um, attempt. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to go with this, which is the, my right hand. For those on the video, for those that are on the SoundCloud, I told you it's my right hand. Um, and I chose fuck. A. Oh, now, fuck. You chose B? No. He I chose A. You both chose, chose A. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to agree with Warwick, and I'm going to say this is Buffalo. By the way, it's Warwick. Warwick. But what did he, what did he, he say? Said I said Buffalo Trace. He, 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 said, he said Warwick. I said Warwick. 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 I enunciated the W. Should yes, we not enunciate your name? Warwick. No, it's Warwick. Oh, oh, because he had that extra W yes. in there. Okay. Although he's much taller than the Warwick I know. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to go with Buffalo Trace. You know more than one Warwick? Yeah. Warwick Davis. Have you not? Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen Leprechaun? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a Leprechaun. <laughs> you have to be part of gold. Right. Everyone's after my so, part of gold. So, okay, so now... You're going to be the deciding factor, not no. really, but I just want to see if we were all three no. correct on no. this one. Honestly, if we my all opinion were... makes no difference because it you picked the winner. I want to see how close we are. So, if I have a palate at all. 
Well, so here, here's my problem with it is we've, we've had episodes where I have turned a sour face when tasting Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. I have not liked it. I've turned a sour face to it. I've shunned it. I've said it's crap. Drinking both of these, yep, I wouldn't say they're crap. I know they're, they're both. And, and, I, they're, I wouldn't say good. No, no. But they're not crap. But against, and, and, against and, each other. And this is what, what I was saying about the 1792. I think if there was a third one in here, yeah. if we had a threesome, um, <laughs> I think I could taste... I'd taste a threesome I think too. I, I could be saltier than I'm that. okay with tasting a threesome. I think I could taste the difference of the 1792. But it would have to be W boy W, not a BBW. You know what I'm saying? Big, black, and beautiful. I was going to say um, BBW would mean something different on Pornhub. Not, yes. Big and different. As long as you don't say BBC, I how about okay. MFF and not MMF? No, don't say MMF. Okay. And whatever you do, don't, don't, okay. don't say you like water games. Oh, no, 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 no. So, no. anyway, okay. <laughs> okay. What is your Seven. decision? Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Um, so, this scares the shit out of me because I've been a, very... Okay, don't base it uh, on being scared that you're wrong. Or, and I think that's what I, people I, want. I get they you. want to know your honest opinion. I get you. Remember, which one do you like? Yeah, which one would you I, would you rub on your junk? I, neither one. It would burn like a motherfucker. No, no but which the one fuck? would burn less? <laughs> if, there are only two, if there are only two bottles Not, left... Unchafed. If there are only two bottles left in the world, yeah. and these were the two that you had to pick... Could you imagine that last ever buzz? And that have to be Jack Daniels. This one. <laughs> okay. And? Smoother, more mellow. Are yeah. we thinking A? What if you said A? A. Nice. Yeah. And so we think, we all think that it's Buffalo Trace. We and hope. that's A. Yep. Yeah, the one with the A. A so clearly won. So the winner is Unanimously. A. Yep. One, and two, two, three. three. Some motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Wow. Okay, please tell me that there is something special about this Jack Daniel's no, bottle. Is, uh, is it like, this is, I can is tell it you right small now, batch? <laughs> this is <laughs> Holy shit, how? I, I honestly, I'm dumbfounded. I know. <laughs> Motherfucker. I, I, I'm, holy, wow. I, I chose A, right? Yep, how do we pick that over? Now, that every Trace. time I go to a store, I pick Buffalo Trace instead of Jack Daniel's. Totally. In place of Jack Daniels. And, 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 and to the point, the question I had said before. So in the example where you had those two on a shelf and you were told you had to pick one, I think we all would have picked Buffalo Trace every other week. Yeah. But this, the fact that in a blind test, we picked Jack Daniels. Wow. See, I, this is why I love <laughs> and hate the blind test. Yeah. Because, I, in, because in some respects, you know, it shows... How much marketing affects your taste? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no I, 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 I think we no, no, tasted I, Jack Daniels I, up against others, and again, I've turned a sour face to it. I've gone like, I can't even take it. So you think that? And I just chose what's it. Playing into it is the fact that we're putting it up against something that's very similar, and it's it's just hard well, to distinguish. Well, clearly, them. Buffalo Trace was a little warmer. Right. Uh, to me, yeah, yeah, it was a little no, hotter. No, I agree. I agree. Well, I, I said this. I, I think th this one. I am Jack Daniels was definitely smoother than Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Wow. I, I will say that the Buffalo Trace had more flavor at the back end. It was hotter. Yes. But it had more flavor to it after you got past the heat. However, in this instance, I chose a smoother ride yeah. than the roller coaster of Buffalo Trace. But I think it's weird because you said that's four year and that's and we said six, six to eight. eight. So, so this this is what always like and that's three to four. Right, I think this is what disturbs me, which is basically I picked Jack Daniels because I felt it was smoother yeah. than Buffalo Trace. But what yeah. we've been saying for the last like eighty and episodes, and that is not smooth. Versus a, yeah. is the the age is what wow. gives you smoothness. Holy well, that's true. But there's so many things that go into the process of making whiskey that there's other ways to get things sure. smooth. Sure. So age isn't the only thing. And really, when we're talking a difference of one or two, three years... Eh. Right, right, right. And that was age really kicks in at 10 to 12 years. Absolutely. And, and, right. and again, even more so between 12 and 24 or whatever. And so do we know that, that Buffalo Trace is a, a single barrel? Uh, not single barrel as in like single barrel, but as oh. in like, is it a blend? 
Yeah, they're all blends. Yeah, both okay. of these are blends. So, so again, the six to eight years, to the point of smoothness, the six to eight years. What's the eight, proof? Oh, Grab that. Check I out the proof. Is, I, I think it's, it's, it's in the eating. Uh, it looks like eating, but I don't even have one. Is it in the footing? 80 proof. Why do we invite this guy to the podcast? He doesn't have, we don't have to tell him we're doing this. Yeah, we just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. You and me in the bottle makes three tonight. Right, right. 80 proof on the... On the 80 proof? Yeah. To be honest, generally, it's me that says, Okay. Are you guys coming so out to play? This? So, this is 45, so this is a little bit higher. So, what's the... So, 90. Yeah, so this is... That's why this is a little bit hotter. Yeah, so lower stars. proof. Oh, fucking math. <laughs> so, that's lower, literally lower proof. Not That's much, what, what but would make it smoother. Which would make would it smoother. So, and this has got so more flavor. We went for smooth instead our last of flavor. Few episodes, we went based off of smoothness, I would almost say. But I don't think that's wrong. We will wrong. discuss further. I don't think that's wrong. After as, we discuss our movies. Right? As a podcast, having Jack Daniels move on is a disgrace to our. Is it though? Are, are well, you, I thought you could say, that's, as a, a podcast, was... we have failed. <laughs> <laughs> We kind of have. Now, this is what I like about this blind taste test is because we're going based off of what we're feeling at this and, point in time. And right? our audience knows now that we're full of shit. No, no, no. It's not that we're full of shit. It's that anything... I, I, it's I, Again, what we're doing is we're pitting... <laughs> wait, 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 we're going to go back to... Hold on. We're going to go back to what Lon said probably in like episode fucking one, which yeah. I think I do have that on the, yeah. the Pontypool. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Pontypool. Love that movie. It's... The bourbon you like the way you like it. Correct. That's the best bourbon. I think bourbon. what we're leaning more towards is smoothness. We like smoothness. But you're a hot guy. I'm a hot guy. Wait, let me, let me, giggity. <laughs> I know that. Let That's me why I have so many subscribers right now. No, but. You're they, a guy they, who they likes come, a hot They come guy. for this. <laughs> the bourbon. No, they come for this. I mean, everybody wants all of this. Not just some, all. Anyway. I'm so regret They want the burn, baby. Any, no, the, the. Uh, we, yes, I like that burn, but only so much, and you, right? And, it, and you cannot lie? Yeah. <laughs> I like that burn, and I cannot lie. You brought some others to lie. But I get you. I get you. <laughs> it, it's, it's something that... I get I, you. And I like this because now, like I said, I should have known this was Jack Daniels. Even if I did drink Jack and Coke, there were points where I just said, just give me a Jack. All through I high school, it was always Jack that I had, sure. so... And that was before uh, drink. There was a drinking age. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was I, I, the age of twelve. Have, I have never had Drac, Dan Drac Daniels. Drac Daniels. Jack, Ooh, Jack Daniels. I'd buy that. That could be a. I'd buy that. Version of this. Yeah. I have never had Jack Daniels. Neat, <laughs> other than little from the show. Cherry. Other than for the show. Yeah. Yeah. Cherry. Yeah. Add a cherry, cherry. Fucking Jack Daniels. I call it Drac Daniels. Oh, because of blood red, a little bit of red. Oh, in there. That sounds disgusting. There you go. He doesn't like cherry. Jack Daniels, so give me a call. Anyway, um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, gotta let's, let's move. Yeah, let's show our uh, let's show lovely me. bracket. Wow, well, we're which, way over. You know, you guys are upset by that, but you got to I'm not about upset about it. by it. I'm You're surprised. You're just upset that you don't know. I'm surprised I like the fact that we it. don't know, because then it puts us all on an even keel. Because I don't know shit about shit. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> the one that I thought I knew, I didn't know shit. I really wish I would have said, oh, yeah, this is totally Stop cool. hitting the table. But I could have been like, gotcha, bitches, but I, I don't know. Stop hitting the table. Am I? So, yes. Right. You're hitting the table a lot. So now we're talking. <laughs> a lot of vaginas. Jack Daniels will be going up against Bullet Bourbon. Mm. Not super, super exciting, but 1792 will be going up against Jim Beam. That's going to be exciting. Wait, we wait, got a Canadian. So we've, got, so we've got Jack and Jim in the quarterfinals? Yes. Yes. Or is this, yeah, because semifinals is Is wow. that crazy? So I, that's what I'm upset about because Jim Beam, See, because of you two fuckers, Jim Beam moved on for, against <laughs> Four Roses. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was, It'd be both of you. I picked Four Roses. You both picked Jack Ford Daniels. That's the only reason. But wasn't that also, but wasn't John there for that one? Oh. Yeah, was John in that one? John. He's I think John was, the, and we said John was the decider. Sorry, John, it's your fault. Yeah, it's okay. I, I picked Jim Beam as well. So, but I am interested in the fact that on the lower left corner, we've got Canadians up against the Irish. Oh, that's one of those that I don't give a flying fuck about. So, but above that, again, Jefferson's, which we didn't know would beat Larson's. I didn't think it would be Larson at all. No, I didn't no. not Larson's. Larson. Uh, but beer barrel bourbon moves on. Be a barrel Even though it was against 
John's wishes, because John drinks uh, weeded bourbons, which is a bourbon that has a little bit of wheat in it. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still Eddie a weeded bourbon. It. Still a weeded oh, bourbon. You're like really upset. See, I'm so I, upset that's about really that. Like the, I don't so get upset, upset by it because it's like, I, I'm the type, I don't know shit. So like, when we try this stuff, it's like, I'll oh, just go based off of what I feel. So, Anyway. Anywho. All right, so we're gonna we'll bring it back to us. We'll we're done. Back. Bring it back. You want to bring it back to yeah, us? Oh. Yeah, yeah, people like us. Our people don't want to look at just bottles. Oh, right. so exactly. A little longer us. than we anticipated, but yeah. uh, this, was a, this was still tough and, yeah. and, and shocking at the same time. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, but uh, our... The old number seven is uh, the prop. The boy props to out. Jack. Props to the, all the British people who apparently know better than us. Okay, I, 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 slight tangent. Uh, why is slight. this? Why is this number seven? And why is Seagram's number seven? D totally unrelated. Really? Yeah. Jack Daniel's seven, I believe, is the seventh batch before he decided it was a good bourbon. It was the seventh. Okay, recipe. it really is. So it's not like lucky number lucky seven. No, seven. I don't know why. I don't know why Seagram's names there is seven, but that's why this is number seven. Okay, I. It's just the seventh batch. Because I wouldn't normally drink this swill. Um. <laughs> and yet you picked that <laughs> swill. That is why I said it. Wow. Well. All anyway, right, thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you, everyone. And what, don't, we, don't we say, like, watch yeah, the next episode? Tune in the next one. There you go. Okay, great. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on social media. How come you got, how come you got more? We, you, because you're I, lame. You don't know what to say. You know, like, what, what are we supposed to do? Like, just like, you, like, like, Logan, you time it all out. Like, tune into the next You keep one screwing yeah, it up. Like, you got to knock okay, it this is like take 15. Time. And, like, I only screwed up like three of them. We're, we screwed up like look, eight. we're just going to keep this one, okay? okay? This is the one. This all is right. it. This one right here. Finish it. And.